An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. It's an age-old adage, but it represents a new paradigm in health care. There's more emphasis today on methods to preserve and maintain our health and well-being. From diet to lifestyle, we're becoming increasingly aware of what we can do to help ourselves. Obesity has become a public health problem of epidemic proportions. According to the National Institutes of Health, 97 million Americans are overweight. An estimated 10 million are considered morbidly obese, resulting in significant health care costs, poor health, and even risk of early death. Well, in this country, we, we now have about 60% of our population that's either overweight or obese. About 25% of those are, are actually obese. We didn't get here in one day. It's taken us 35 years of lifestyle change, of nutrition change, and activity change that's really had a negative impact on this country. This obesity epidemic is not only confined to adults. Childhood obesity is also on the rise at an alarming rate. The rate of increase in childhood obesity has been phenomenal over the last few years. And what we're now seeing is about a third of the cases of type 2 diabetes are, are being diagnosed in our children. And the CDC is, is now saying that kids today may have a shorter life expectancy than their parents. That's a pretty scary statistic. The Pediatric Healthy Weight Research and Treatment Center, developed and supported by the Department of Pediatrics at East Carolina University's Brody School of Medicine, is addressing childhood obesity through research and clinical treatment of overweight children and adolescents. The mission of the Pediatric Healthy Weight Research and Treatment Center is threefold. The first is to develop a treatment program for children who are currently overweight. The second is to develop community resources for uh, community agencies and health care providers who are dealing with overweight children in their, in their areas. And the third is a research agenda, which will address uh, the mechanisms behind developing overweight and hopefully one day to prevent overweight. The center has implemented programs in five areas to help address the problem of overweight in children. The first area is primary prevention, where we try to keep healthy weight children at a healthy weight. Second area is treatment of children who are already overweight, and this is where we spend a good amount of our clinical effort. The third area is what we call tertiary treatment, or treatment of children with problems related to their overweight already. We're also actively engaged in basic research projects to understand the causes of overweight, as well as education and outreach for our area. The multidisciplinary team follows a chronic care management family-centered model and collaborates with patients and families to provide resources and support as they make healthy lifestyle changes. The clinical team assesses each family's readiness to change and uses motivational interviewing techniques to help them set and achieve realistic weight-related goals. The vast majority of cases of childhood obesity are not caused by genetic or endocrine problems, but really are caused by lifestyle issue in terms of overeating, too many calories consumed, and not enough calories uh, burned through physical activity. We also think that there may be environmental influences that we don't know about yet, including pesticides and other chemicals that may promote the development of obesity in children. But clearly, no matter what the cause, uh, lifestyle choices do influence the development of overweight in most children. Childhood obesity is a serious public health problem facing our nation. Researchers now say we may be raising the first generation of children to have a shorter lifespan than their parents due to the early development of obesity-related illnesses. Being overweight can cause or exacerbate a number of known diseases. Uh, the first is the uh, early onset of type 2 diabetes. The second are a whole host of cardiovascular problems, including early onset coronary artery disease and hypertension. The third group are respiratory, including sleep apnea, a problem which many overweight children have. And the fourth are psychosocial problems, including depression and low self-esteem. In most cases, we recommend uh, lifestyle changes as the treatment of choice for overweight children. This generally includes uh, reducing caloric consumption, usually in addressing overconsumption of sugared beverages, such as juices and sodas. We also look to promote physical activity. Uh, looking for children to get at least 60 minutes a day of moderate to vi vigorous physical activity. And we do this in a family-centered fashion where we recognize that the child is part of the family and we need the entire family to help.
East Carolina University has long been an educational institution committed to serving the community as well as providing high quality education to learners. The Brody School of Medicine at ECU has a threefold mission to increase the supply of primary care physicians to serve the state, to improve the health status of citizens in Eastern North Carolina, and to enhance the access of minority and disadvantaged students to a medical education. This mission of service to the community is illustrated by the ongoing support for the Pediatric Healthy Weight Research and Treatment Center in addressing obesity in the region. The Pediatric Healthy Weight uh, Research and Treatment Center here at ECU uh, is tremendously important. This region uh, is a very unhealthy region, very high incidence of childhood obesity, and this facility could not be in a better place. We hope this program has been an inspiration to you and in all you hope to achieve. Be sure to join us next time as we continue to profile the people and ideas changing the way we live. I'm Lou Gossett, Jr. For more information on childhood obesity and what you can do to help your child, contact the Brody School of Medicine at ECU today.